come to Bath to explore and take some photographs. It's a beautiful city with Georgian architecture. I'm going to try and find some less obvious places to take some photographs. I bought my Olympus Trip, my trusty film camera, and I've loaded it with black and white Ilford FP4 film. I'm going to seek out parts of the city that aren't the normal tourist place to go and try and get some different types of photographs. So this is the Holborn Museum, it's a lovely building set in lovely grounds but um, what's most interesting about it is this extension on the back which was built in 2011. This makes an interesting photograph when taken through this lovely arch. As you can see it's rather striking and it's made out of ceramic and glass which is a real contrast to the original Bath Stone building. Just behind the Holborn Museum in the grounds is the canal that runs through and under this bridge. And this again is an interesting photo for Bath. It's part of its industrial heritage. It's now used for leisure mainly. This is a nice example of a Georgian shop. This is a, an old chemist right near Pulteney Bridge. Just on the other side of Pulteney Bridge is the Victoria Art Gallery with this lovely statue. A few streets away I found a bit of photographic history in this plaque in New Bond Street Place and it's about John Rudge and William Freese Green and they invented cinema photography. William was a photographer and he had a studio in this place called The Corridor in Bath and this was the first indoor shopping centre in the country and he also had a photographic studio at this place, 34 Gay Street which is now a barber's shop. Between the Abbey and Pulteney Bridge, opposite the Parade Gardens, is this building next door to the Empire Hotel. And it used to be the old Central Police Station. It's now a Brown's restaurant and bar. But it's an interesting place to go and have something to eat or drink. And this is the old cells. And they've got pictures up of all of the old police from years gone by. This is the oldest pub in Bath. It's built in 1713. This is Saracen's Head. And it was apparently frequented by Charles Dickens.
close by you'll find Walcott Street which is now Bath's artisan quarter and there's lots of independent cafes, shops and businesses down here, craft shops, that sort of thing. It's an interesting place and it's quite photogenic. This is uh, an old water trough for the horses. But this area used to be um, where they'd bring the cattle and there was a corn market here. But also it was uh, a place frequented by ladies of the night. Next to the fountain on the wall, you'll see some more recent history. About 30 years ago, somebody put some heads on the wall, sculptures, and they've just been updated as uh, a new set of heads. There's about 20 faces there. Also, next to the horse trough, you'll find these steps leading up to a road called the Paragon. And this is another crescent of terrace houses. Not as famous as some of the others, but still interesting nonetheless. We're now at number eight Belmont, which is a camera shop. It doesn't look like a camera shop, but it, uh, it's called Ace Optics, and they do binoculars and photographing equipment, new and old, and they even sell film. So if you're in Bath and you need some film, this is the place to come. Far from Green Park Station in James Street West is this place. Um, we found this to be a great place to stop off and have a, a cold beer. Now this is the Bath Brew House and they actually brew the beer on the premises. I love this Art Deco 1930s cinema called The Forum. Green Park Station. This used to be called Queen Square Station when it opened in the 1860s and uh, it actually shut in the 1960s and now it's used for markets and cafes and sort of independent shops. So we're in Green Park now and I'm actually facing Green Park Buildings West and these are nice Georgian buildings and they have like a basement area which is sort of under the road and Green Park Buildings East is where Jane Austen lived for a while and uh, that building no longer exists So we're down by the river, the River Avon in Bath. And uh, this is just a different perspective on Bath, really. We've got some industrial buildings here and some canal boats. But this was the, the heart of Bath originally. And it just gives a nice different view of, of Bath rather than just Georgian residential architecture. This is, you know, the heart of the industry here along the river and just makes for some slightly different types of photographs. So I'm going to photograph these industrial buildings here. And the um, canal boats.
Well, I've walked all the way around Bath. I've been here a couple of days now. It's been really nice, hot weather, and I've explored and found what I think are some interesting places to take photographs. I finished my 36 roll film, black and white pictures, and I'm hoping I've got some nice pictures there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like. We're going to be doing some more of these type of videos in other beautiful cities and interesting places. But thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.